All right, so now we are just about rounding the bend to the end of our hike here in Bacon Ridge Natural Area. And our last plant to share with you is the autumn olive. Now this was introduced to the U.S. in about 1830s and it was also used for ornamental reasons but for wind cover um, and other areas where you can use some nice shade. Now because of that shade it offers is what makes it difficult as an invasive in a natural area because the shade it creates will shade out our native plants and prevent them from really growing well. Now a really interesting fact about the autumn olive is that its roots have a special adaptation that allows it to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere in higher quantities in the soil around it than what otherwise would be. And then that alters the ground around it. This high increase in nitrogen helps other weedy plants grow but doesn't help our native plants to thrive very well. So again, autumn olive, uh, you'll see this around here, Bacon Ridge Natural Area and uh, all throughout really parts of the eastern part of the United States. So I hope you enjoyed your hike with me today here at Bacon Ridge Natural Area for our invasive plant ID and information. I want to thank Scenic Rivers Land Trust for having me and it was such a great time. Well, thank you very much, Leanna. We are thrilled that you were able to come out here and join us today. So everyone, thanks for watching our video on invasive plants at the Bacon Ridge Natural Area. We have a couple other videos you can check out, a history hike, a tree ID, and a birding walk. So take a look at those. And if you're feeling extra active in October, we have an ongoing walk and ride for the woods challenge going on. So you can look at our website, find out more information on how to get involved and join us out here at Walk for the Woods.